Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to uh, go back to actual coding here, because in the last couple ones we talked about the shiv, and then we talked about HTML5 boilerplate, so we haven't actually been getting into that much code yet. So we're going to change that right now, and I'm going to talk about page structure, and we're going to code the basic page structure of a blog. And we're not going to style this or anything, but we're just going to dive into some HTML elements and how we might use them. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of this Welcome to HTML5 boilerplate. I'm going to add a header here. And this header is just going to um, contain uh, just maybe an H1 or something. So we'll have a header and it has an H1 that says our HTML, HTML5 site. Okay. And that's all really the header is going to contain. It actually might contain um, a nav as well. And that nav will have a list. Um, and that's going to have an anchor. Okay. Um, nav item number one. Cool. So we have our header with our h1 and our nav. So this is nothing crazy new. Uh, we haven't really talked about the nav tag, but the nav tag really sort of wraps um, what's going to be considered like a navigation element of your site. And keep in mind, it's not every single menu or anything like that gets the nav tag. We'll go over that more. Uh, I just want to have this in here so we have a basic site layout. And so for the main section of our website, we're actually going to be using a new tag um, called main and it's so new that my code completer doesn't even recognize it. So uh, this is just main. It's actually been a sort of controversial, um, not, not insanely controversial or anything, but um, it's just basically an element for your main content. And then we're going to have our footer. And nothing in any of this stuff yet. Um, we'll just leave it like this. But where we want to put our blog is actually within this main area. So main really is just sort of like section, but it denotes your main content, right? So it's just a display block. There's nothing crazy other than that. So we have a blog post, right? So what is a blog post? Well, there is a new HTML5 element called article. And article is the perfect uh, element for this blog post. Because what it does is it represents a component of a page uh, that consists of self-contained uh, composition in a document, is what um, the spec says. So basically, uh, it's perfect for a blog post. It's made for a blog post, essentially. Uh, reusable, distributable, um, just basically content that is in self a, a chunk of content. So a blog post would be an article, just the way you think of an article in a newspaper to be an article. So we're going to create a new tag here, and it's just going to be article. And let's talk about what we can do inside of this. We mentioned before that the header tag is not only for the header of our website, but the header of our content. So if you know a blog post usually has a heading or something like that, so we suppose you could just have an H, H3 or something for here. But really, I think what's more appropriate is to use an actual header tag. So here we can say header, and inside of our header, we're not only going to want to contain an H2. This is our blog post title. Um, we can also put in a paragraph, and this can just be time meta data or something. You know, in like blog posts, you typically see like a time or something after the post title. So we have our header, and the next we'd want our actual blog post. So let me grab some hipster ipsum or something and throw it in here as our blog content. So this is our paragraph of blog content. And now we also actually want a footer in here because a footer can also be not only the footer of your page, but the footer of something like this, like an article. So inside of our footer, we can contain, uh, let's say, another paragraph that has metadata. Okay, so this is our blog post. Notice how we have an article which is containing this entire blog post, 
uh, a header, which signifies that this is the heading information for this article, and the footer is where we'd expect footer content to be for this article. So let's save this out and see how it looks just with default styling and everything on a page. It shouldn't be surprising because it's actually going to look the same as if every single one of these were divs. Uh, but the cool thing is, is that they're not divs. And when your browser looks at this, it doesn't just see divs, it sees uh, actual meaning. So what it sees is that this is an article and inside of here is the important header information and uh, there's the content and the footer. So that's a lot more meaningful to a browser than just div, 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 uh, because it doesn't really mean anything. So here it is, I've opened it up here and we have our first blog post, and this is an HTML5 page using some great new elements, and it is working great. So now that you have a little bit more knowledge about how you can use header and footer a little bit differently, you know, you can experiment using these tags. However, uh, I would really suggest, you know, reading over some of the spec stuff and getting a full idea because these tags are have semantic meaning now and there's right and wrong ways to use them. So here is your HTML5 page blog post. In fact, if we want to copy this whole thing right here, oops, if we want to just copy this entire article right here, paste it below, we got a second blog post and cool, perfect. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video below. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We always love to hear from you. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.